Hi guys, welcome to the MCQs from the Board of Studies portal. ICA have put MCQs not only in the module but also on their Board of Studies portal, some of which are different. So whichever are same, I've already uh, covered them up in the MCQs from the module completely which is available on our YouTube channel. So Board of Studies ones which are different from those of the module, all those we are trying to be covering one by one. I've already covered chapter 1 and chapter number 2. Now this is chapter number 3 that we all are doing. Two things before I'll be starting. In case you require any help from our side, message us on Telegram ID. We'll be happy to help you. That is one thing. Second, in case you wish to be directly enrolling for the complete course of SCPM, then the link is there in the description. You all can enroll. Once you enroll, automatically lecture start. There is absolutely no need for you all to be uh, calling us to start our lectures or this. And one more thing that you can view our lectures anywhere. One day on browser, one day on Android app, one day on iOS app, okay, wherever you all want, okay, there is no restriction as such, okay. And of course, all the courses come with unlimited views. So let's start it off for this uh, chapter. This chapter is called as Lean Systems and Innovation. It's divided into a lot of parts and one part is Kaizen costing. So the question is, which one of the following is false about Kaizen costing? Okay, so which is a false one? So it uses target costing to set the required planned cost of the product. Okay, second, continuous improvement is aimed at producing new products. Okay, third, the purpose is to build the idea of continuous improvement in the production process. Okay, fourth one, focuses on elimination of waste and improving productivity. We have to try to be saying which one of them is false about Kaizen costing. First of all, you should be knowing what do you mean by Kaizen costing. Kaizen costing is a Japanese term that stands for change for better. Okay, these are small little things that you do every now and then. But then small things if you do every now and then in long run, it helps you to achieve your targets. That is whatever is a funda. It doesn't aim at producing new products. No, whatever other things that you are doing, we try to be doing them in slightly a better way. It is not like, you know, we try to change completely. No, these are small little things that you do every now and then to achieve the desired cost or uh, to achieve the desired cost levels. Okay, to give you one example. Now, uh, airline companies. Airline companies, like, you know, it is a very capital intensive business. So these guys have adopted Kaizen costing to such an extent to give you a few examples. Air India, now no longer there, okay, we all do understand. But Air India at one moment of time used to be giving salad in their meals. But then they did an audit and found out 92% of the people do not eat salads. So therefore, they removed it. Now somebody can be thinking, sir, they removed the salad, what? It saved annually 4 crore rupees for them. Small little changes here and there makes a huge difference. Now, one of the biggest costs for the airlines companies is the air turbine fuel, ATF, as we will call that. Okay, it's very expensive. Like petrol and diesel are required for cars. ATF is required for running the aeroplanes. And ATF is like, you know, uh, the consumption of it is directly proportional to the weight of the aircraft. So therefore, if the weight is more, consumption of ATF is more. Cost for the company is always more. So companies have done lot amount of things in last 40 years or so. Iron seats have been replaced by titanium seats. Iron is very heavy. It rusts also. Uh, titanium does not rust and it is very light metal as compared to uh, iron and far more stronger also. Curtains originally were there in the aeroplanes. You can see the old movies. Those have been replaced now by plastic sheets. Somebody can be saying, sir, what does? It reduces the weight of the aeroplane. There are a lot of things that such companies do actually. So this is whatever is Kaizen costing. Okay. In Kaizen costing, we try to be having cost reduction targets. What do you mean by that? Example in standard costing. Standard costing is a cost control technique. Suppose your cost is 5, okay, your standard cost is 5. We would like that our actual cost is also 5. But under Kaizen costing, if our cost is 5, we try to be thinking next quarter, we want to reduce it to 4.9. The next quarter, we want to reduce it to 4.75, blah, 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 okay. So therefore, we try to have cost reduction targets, okay, but not very high. We are not trying to do the innovation, no, okay. We are trying to make our process better by reducing the cost to some extent, like, you know, over a period of time. Point number one, it uses target costing to set the required planned cost of the products. 
this statement is correct to be honest because under Kaizen costing, you got to be having certain amount of target. I want to bring down the cost to this level. So first point is correct. Second, continuous improvement is aimed at producing new products. No. Aim is whatever products we are trying to be producing. Let's try to cut down their cost by doing small little changes here and there. Third, the purpose is to build the idea of continuous improvement in the production process. Of course, this statement is correct and that is why uh, Kaizen costing had come also. Small little changes. Continuous improvement over a period of time brings huge savings in the long run. Four, focuses on elimination of waste and productivity. Obviously, if you want to be reducing the cost, first thing is try to reduce the waste. Waste could be of say material, waste could be the time of the labor that they are sitting idle. It could be any type of waste as such. Okay, It could be say the machines remaining idle, that is also waste only. So if you try to eliminate these particular waste, overall your cost will be falling down. Okay. So I guess which one of them is not true, okay, should be point number two, I guess, okay. This is the explanation of the institute, that's all fine. The next one, so correct answer should be A, this is not Kaizen costing, means uh, point number two. So point number two is supposed to be the correct answer. Continuous improvement is aimed at producing new products. Again, I repeat, Kaizen costing is not about producing new products. It's about same product we produce, but we streamline the process, reduce the waste. So therefore, we try to achieve the desired cost reduction target. So that's your answer to this question. Well, I am done with this one more video. This is the QR code for the MCQs from the module. Just before I sign off, clearing CA, you might have heard of, it is difficult, but then whatever is easy is not worth it. So ensure that you put in your efforts, which are planned efforts. Okay. Do not keep on trying to uh, listen to 30 people and end up in doing nothing. Okay. If you all want, you can always study everything from the module. Ignore whatever anybody might say. Believe me, you will easily get a rank. If you will concentrate on only those things which matter and skip out all those things that other people are saying. As I popularly say, if you listen to 100 people, you are not listening. You are listening to the noise created by other people. It's not required. Okay. So do your stuff. Okay, believe in yourself that whatever you are doing is good. And like this question, do Kaizen costing. Do continuous improvements in yourself every now and then. So if you are studying, say, for 5 hours, next month try to have a target of 5 and a half, 6, up and so on. Don't try to be thinking, I will study for 15 hours. Okay, it is not humanly possible. And more amount of studying time is not correlated with more marks. Okay, so therefore study apt, don't do excess, don't do less, decide whatever is good for you. Till the times your brains are able to adopt everything, study only till that time. Take care, we'll meet each other next time. Bye. Thank you.